In today's Adobe Illustrator tutorial, we will create isometric living room. Some objects will be created with scale shear rotate method, others with 3D effects. If you're a beginner, nothing extremely hard is going on here. We use basic tools, you can simply create this scene along with me and learn a lot of new. There's a lot of tips for advanced Illustrator users also, who want to get better in isometric design, learn more about 3D effects and improve their creativity. You're watching TNT Tutorials. In previous tutorial, I showed you how to create actions for grid and for scale shear rotate method. You can download these actions below in the video description, then go to Actions. You can find it here, go to Window, Actions. Then click here, Load Actions. After this, you will have exactly the same actions as I do. Now let me show you how I like to create isometric workspace. Press Ctrl plus N, go to Print. Select A4, copy these values to this field. We do this to have square format. In Advanced Options select RGB and click on Create. Right after this go to Actions and play Grid Action. Hold Shift and scale it like so. Then double click, select this grid, go to Properties panel, change Stroke Width to 025 points. Then click on Stroke and change color to something like this. Exit this mode, click here, two times. Now go to Layers panel, rename this layer to Grid and create two new layers. Rename layer number 3 to Colors and layer number 2 to Reference. After this, download references in the video description, go to File, Place, place this scene to reference layer, select colors layer and do the same, file, place. Place all these references in colors layer. Now zoom in, I for eyedropper tool, pick this color, zoom out like so, select this layer and draw a huge rectangle like this. Then open this layer group and drag this layer down. Close this layer group and lock it. Now as we have this workspace created, let's begin with our scene, create a new layer, bring it up, rename it to room, and first of all let's create walls and floor. Drag this reference here, after you drag this reference, make sure that you have selected your room layer to draw within it, pick this color, P for pen tool, and create wall. Create it like this. Then you can fix these points with Direct Selection tool. These points will snap your grid, like so. Alright, now pick this color and create this part. Connect points, then zoom in if you need to, place your points correctly. Now select these two objects. I will open this layer group so you could see all layers. Go for Reflect tool, it's over here, hold Alt, click on this point, Preview and click on Copy. Alright, so now pick this color, Pen tool and draw object like this. Zoom in, fix your points. Alright, now it's time to create floor, pick this color. Fix points like this, pick this one, now darker color. Alright, let's zoom in to check if everything is correct. I see that I need to fix some points, do it like so. Select this wall, apply this color. For this one let's pick this color and everything else is just great. So let's select all these objects, Ctrl G to group them and let's lock this layer. Today I will give you a lot of information on isometry, especially on 3D effects. I will reveal all these tips gradually by creating all these objects. So let's begin with these ones, place this reference here. Make sure that after this you've selected your room layer, then pick this color, M for rectangle tool, 
draw a rectangle like this, click here to swap fill and stroke, change stroke to 3 points, V for selection tool, duplicate this layer, and then press Ctrl plus D. Then go for line segment tool and draw a little line here, duplicate it like so. I will make them shorter. Then let's select them all and change proportions to something like this. Then press Ctrl G to group them and go to Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel. Click on Preview, select Isometric left, 22 points here. And for now we will leave another options, click on OK, duplicate this object. You should always leave unexpanded objects in your workspace just in case. I will delete them in this tutorial to avoid confusion with layers, but when I work I always keep them. So put this layer just somewhere here, select this one, Object, Expand Appearance. Now A for Direct Selection tool, select these layers, pick this color, the same for these ones, let's select these parts, apply this color, and we'll apply darker color to these parts. Now select them all, Ctrl G to group them. If you see some lines like this, 3D effect might not always work ideally. Just double click on this object, open this layer group, select this one, open it, find this gray part and apply this color. This is how you can fix any errors with your 3D models. Double click somewhere on the workspace to exit this mode. Let's place it to our scene, make it bigger, like this. And if you want to create shadow, P for Pen tool, draw a shape like this, pick this dark color, V for Selection tool, bring this layer down, I will close this layer group, make this shadow layer bigger, like so, then select these two objects and place them closer to wall, like this. Let's create window. This one might seem complicated, but actually there's only a few rectangles. Let me show you this, pick this color, but first I will delete this one to avoid confusion with layers. So pick this color, build a rectangle like this, click here on Swap Fill and Stroke, change stroke to something like 2 or 3 points for now, then go to Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel, select Isometric Right, enter 13 points here and click OK. Duplicate this layer like so. Go to Properties, click on this Applied Effect, Preview, set this value to 3 and click on Preview again. OK. Now make another copy. For this time go to Appearance, select this effect and delete it. Now go to Line Segment tool and draw it right in the middle of this rectangle, like so. Select them both, Ctrl G to group them, go to Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel, select Isometric Right again and select three points again. Click OK. Right after this you can copy all these layers just in case, because right now we will expand them. Select them all, Object, Expand Appearance. Now select this one, click on Group, click on Group again, pick this layer and drag it here. Now let's zoom in, change its position, change it like so. If you want to be more precise, go to View, Outline. After this go to View and change View to GPU Preview. So now let's check if this layer is not protruding from this layer. Everything's fine here. It protrudes here a bit, so let's just make it a little bit smaller. Just like so. Alright, now go here again. Fix this part. And bring this layer down, like this. Alright, now let's move this layer, like so. Let's place it here. Align this line with this line, like so. And right after this, select these four layers. One, two, three and four. Also select this one. Shift plus M for Shape Builder tool. Hold Alt and delete all these unnecessary parts. 
like this. We will leave these ones for now. Delete this also. Now V for selection tool, deselect this object. A for direct selection tool. Select this one, hold shift, this and this. Delete them. You can move this layer just a bit, like so. Alright, now let's change colors for these ones. Let's pick this one, these three, also this, and pick bright color. Now we'll apply mid-tone color for these objects. Now the darkest parts. Alright, you should have result like this. Now let's create this part. Pick this blue color, M for rectangle 2, deselect this object, pick this color, create a rectangle here, hold Alt, copy this one, like so, and duplicate it again. I will move them just a bit, select them all, Ctrl G to group them, go to your Actions panel, and play Right Action. Alright, now bring this layer here, align it with this line. Don't forget that you can go to View, Outline. Alright, now simply bring this layer down, like so. Just so it would be behind this frame. Now pick this darker color, P for Pen tool, create first point here, hold Shift, add a point here, and connect these points. Now right click, Arrange, Send to Back. Then select this layer again, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, pick this color, bring this layer up, like so, go to Properties panel and change opacity to 17. Alright, let's group these layers and bring them to our scene. So now let's create clock. First of all, let's create clock face, pick this color, L for ellipse tool, draw ellipse here. As you can see, I started to draw an in colors layer, so I will open this layer and just bring my layer to room layer. Ctrl C, Ctrl F, make this object smaller, pick this dark color, then deselect this object, click here on swap fill and stroke, pick line segment tool, and start drawing it from center, like this. Go to properties, you can change width if you want, I think I will set it to 1 and 5. Then press Ctrl C, Ctrl F, A for direct selection tool, pick this point and drag it like this. Now to rotate this object, press V for selection tool, go here, select rotate tool, hold Alt, click in the center and move it like this. Click OK. Now let's rotate this one, rotate tool, click here in the center and let's rotate it like so. Click OK. Then duplicate this ellipse. Select these ones, group them, select this ellipse, pick this color, deselect it, P for pen tool, create a shape like this, press V, deselect this object, select it again, go for reflect tool, hold alt, click on this point and click on copy. Now with selection tool select them both and change proportions like this. Now select these two layers. Go to Properties, in Pathfinder, click Unite. Select these two layers and press Ctrl G. Now let's go to Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel. Click on Preview, select Isometric Left, 20 points here. You can create all objects with plastic shading. You can add new lightning here, play with it as you want. And you can also play with blending steps to get more or less smooth gradients. Click on Preview if you don't see that anything changes. In this case we are creating flat design, so we will select no shading here, click OK. And also, if you want to rotate this object, open Properties panel, select this applied effect, click on Preview again, and simply rotate it like so. But in this case, when you customly rotate this object, you should remember all these degrees because we will need to apply them to this clock face. So you can note these degrees or simply duplicate this object before you expand it, then look for these degrees again and apply them to this object. So I will click OK, 
go to Object, Expand Appearance. Now select this one, go to Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel, click on Preview, select Isometric Left and set all points here. Select no shade in here and enter the same degrees as we have in this base object. Then click OK, Object, Expand Appearance. Move this layer here, right click, Arrange, Bring to Front. Then simply make it smaller like so. And to make this shadow, open this layer group, select this layer, Ctrl C, Ctrl F. We've created a copy. Now hold Alt and drag this copy like so. Then select these two copies. Shift plus M for Shape Builder. Click on this object. Then V for Selection Tool. Deselect this object. Select this one. Right click, ungroup. Deselect it. Delete this part. And delete this copy. Alright, so for now exit this layer group. Double click somewhere on the workspace. A for Direct Selection Tool. Select these ones. Apply this color, this darker color here. Then A for Direct Selection Tool. Select this part and apply this darker color. You should have the same result. Select them all. Ctrl G to group them. Let's move this clock to our room. Make it smaller like so. Place it here. And to create shadow for this one, you can pick this color, click here on Swap Fill and Stroke, pick Line Segment Tool, draw one line here, change width to 025, then duplicate this line here, place it like so, then take Pen Tool, connect these points, and connect these points. Then click here on Swap Fill and Stroke, make this object bigger, like so, and bring this layer down. Let's move on and create books. We'll begin with this one and quickly duplicate another ones. M for rectangle tool. Make sure that you have selected your room layer. Pick this color. Draw rectangle like this. Then Ctrl C, Ctrl F. Make this rectangle smaller like so. Like this. Apply this color. Then duplicate it here. Select this copy. This layer. Shift plus M for shape builder. And delete this part. Now I will change proportions here a bit, A for Direct Selection Tool, select all these points and move them like so. Now select these layers, Ctrl G to group them, Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel. Click on Preview, select Isometric Top, here enter 60 points. Click OK, then simply duplicate it, two times, move this copy here, we will rotate this book. Select these two books, Object, Expand Appearance. Now let's change colors for this one, like so, and for this one. Alright, place them like this. Now take this one, go to Properties panel, click here on Applied Effect, Preview, and let's rotate it like this. I will stop on something like this, click OK, go to Object, Expand Appearance. Now I will change colors for this one. Alright, let's make this book smaller. This one a little bit bigger. Place them like this. Select them all. Ctrl G to group them. Move them here. Make smaller. Place them somewhere like this. And then to put them to this group, press Ctrl C. Delete them. Double click on this group. Press Ctrl Shift V. And bring these layers down. Like so. Alright, so let's exit this isolation mode, double click somewhere on the workspace. Let's create home theater. Select your room layer. Then pick this dark color. M for rectangle tool. Click here on swap fill and stroke. Draw rectangle like this. Change stroke to two points. Then go to effect, 3D, extrude and bevel. Click on preview. Select isometric left and set two points here. Click OK, then go to Object, Expand Appearance. Now bring this object here, so you could see it better. Select this dark color, P for Pen Tool, and draw a rectangle like this. Now pick A for Direct Selection Tool, and move these points here.
Alright, now A for direct selection tool. Select this object. Apply this color here. Then select these ones. And apply dark color again. Select all these layers. Ctrl G to group them. Place this layer here. Like so. Now let's create this stereo system. I for eyedropper tool. Pick this color. Create rectangle like this. Then pick this color. L for ellipse tool. Draw ellipse like so. Ctrl C, Ctrl F. Make this one smaller. Pick this dark color. I will make it even smaller. Ctrl G to group them. Place it here. Make it smaller. Duplicate it like this and press Ctrl plus D. Now select these objects. Ctrl G to group them all. Go to Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel. Click on Preview. Select Isometric left. Select 10 points here and click OK. Now go to Object, Expand Appearance. Let's apply colors for this one. Select these ellipses. Apply this color. Now press L for Ellipse tool. Draw ellipse like this. Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel. Isometric top. Click on Preview. Set two points here. No shading. And click on OK. Now go to Object, Expand Appearance. A for Direct Selection tool. Change color for this one. Now for this part. Place it somewhere here. Now duplicate this layer. Ungroup it. Deselect it. Ungroup it again. Delete this part. Make this one smaller, like so. Pick this dark color. Place it right in the center. Then P for Pen tool. And draw a shape like this. Then select these two layers. In Pathfinder, select Unite. Select this one, Arrange, Bring to Front. Now select them all. Bring them here. Make them smaller like so. To create shadow, you can duplicate this part again. Ungroup. Ungroup again. Delete this part. Bring this layer here. Make it bigger. Apply this color. Bring this layer down. Place this layer like so. Then select all these objects. Ctrl G to group them. And simply duplicate this object. Bring this layer down. Now let's create a table. Draw a rectangle like this. Go to Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel. Select Isometric Top. Click on Preview. Set two points here. Click on OK. If you want to change proportions. V for Selection tool. Change them like so. Now go to Object, Expand Appearance. Pick following colors. Then P for Pen tool. Draw shape like this. Align these two points. Go to Effect, 3D. And for this time, select Revolve. Click on Preview. And select Right Edge. Now we'll select No Shade in here. And we'll select Isometric Right. Click OK. Then press V to change proportions. You can also move these points. Like so. Now go to Object, Expand Appearance. Select these objects, pick this color, bring this layer down, like so. I think I will make it smaller. I will select these points, move them like this. Alright, now select this one, duplicate it here. One more copy. I will check this one again. I see that I need to move it, like so. To create shadow for this one. Duplicate this layer, ungroup it, ungroup it again, delete these parts, pick this color, move this layer down like so, and increase this shadow like this. Then select them all, Ctrl G to group them, and place this table here. Now let's create remote controller, place this reference somewhere here. Let's create buttons first, L for ellipse tool, pick this color. Duplicate this ellipse, make it a little bit smaller, then make copies like this. Apply this color, create rectangle here, let's round corners for this one, make it smaller like so, duplicate it. Now group these ones, 
group these ones, align them, select all these layers, Ctrl G to group them. I will move them to my room layer. Now let's create base shape. Pick this color, create rectangle like this, round corners just a bit like so. Check if these objects fit together well. Alright, we should have something like this. Now select this one, go to Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel, click on Preview, select Isometric Top, right here enter 2 and 5, like this, and let's rotate it like this one. Let's get similar results, like so. Now note all these degrees, because we will need to apply this to our buttons. Click OK. If you want to change proportions, you can do it here. Now select buttons, go to Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel, click on Preview, select Isometric Top, and select one point here. You should also select No Shading. Now enter degrees of these objects in these fields. Click OK. I will apply No Shading to this object. Select them both, go to Object, Expand Appearance. Now I will simply apply colors from these objects to these ones. A for Direct Selection tool, select all necessary objects. To create shadow for this one, duplicate this layer, ungroup, ungroup again, delete these parts, move this object down, pick this color, make shadow a little bit bigger, like so. Let's group these layers and put them here. We need to change shadow's color to this. Now let's move on and create plant. We have two similar objects in this scene, vase and cup. So let's create them differently. For this one, let's pick this color, L for ellipse tool. Select them both, go to your actions panel, click on top action, like so. Make this one even smaller. Now P for pen tool, drag this line like so, then hold shift and build a shape like this. Alright, then zoom in, A for direct selection tool, and move this point like so. You should have soft curve here. Now select this object, reflect tool, hold alt, click here, click on copy. Select these two objects, in properties panel, find pathfinder and click on unite. Right click, arrange, send to back. Now select all these layers and apply this bright color. Then select this one, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, make copied ellipse a little bit smaller, apply this color, then hold Shift, drag it like this and make copied layer a little bit smaller, like so. Then pick this color, select these two layers, Shift plus M for Shape Builder, hold Alt and click on this part. Alright, if you want to change proportions after this, it's never too late to do this. You can do it like so. Then we'll simply delete another side, M for Rectangle tool, draw it here, select them both, Shape Builder, delete these layers, now pick this point and bring it here to have a smooth curve, like so. The same here, alright, then select this object, reflect tool, hold alt, click on this point and click on copy. If you have this problem, that means that you need to move these points to center, like this, and simply repeat, reflect tool, hold alt, copy. Select these two objects, unite them, select all these layers, Ctrl G to group them, let's pick this color. L for ellipse tool, draw ellipse here, play top action, make this ellipse smaller like so, then P for pen tool, and let's create a plant. Select these two objects, in Pathfinder click Unite, then Ctrl C, Ctrl F, A for direct selection tool.
Now let's try to apply different colors to these ones, like this. Let's bring this layer down. Let's move this one up. Let's create a few more leaves. I will stop on something like this. Ctrl G to group these layers. Then make this object smaller, like so. Select them all. Ctrl G again to group them. Alright, you can play with proportions, you get the main idea. Now let's create shadow for this one. L for ellipse tool, create ellipse. Play top action. Pick this color. Bring this layer here. And make it smaller. Like so. Alright, so now let's create photo. Bring this reference layer here. Select your room layer. Ladies first. So let's create girl. Pick this color. L for ellipse tool. Draw oval like this. Then A for direct selection tool. Pick this point. Move this down like so. Then deselect this one. Pick this color. Ellipse again. Create oval here. Rotate it like so. I will change proportions like this. Reflect tool. Hold Alt. Click on center point. Click on copy. Bring these two layers down. Now pick this color. P for pen tool. Create a shape exactly like this. You should have this shape. Deselect this shape. P for pen tool. And create another one. Like this. Let's bring it down like so. Let's bring this ears up. Now select this object. Reflect tool. Click on this point. And click on copy. Fix this point. Then with direct selection tool. Select these points. Move them down. Select these two objects. Go to properties. And click unite. Select it again. Ctrl C, Ctrl F. Pick this dark color. Make this object smaller like this. Let's select ears and make them smaller, like so. You can move them down. Now I for eyedropper tool, pick this color. P for pen tool. And draw a shape like this. You can delete this ear. Alright, play with these points. Now Ctrl C, Ctrl F. Make this copy smaller. You can press P for pen tool. Delete these points. Alright, I will leave this result for now. Pick I for eyedropper tool. Pick this color. Rectangle tool. Create rectangle like this. Then ellipse like this. Move ellipse here. Select these two objects. Click on unite. Place them here. Bring this layer down. Like so. Then select this layer. Hold Alt, move it here, select this copy, select this layer, Shift plus M for Shape Builder, and click on this part. Alright, delete this copy, select this part, move it down like so, pick this color. Now let's pick this color, L for Ellipse tool, draw ellipse here, bring this layer down like so. You can make this neck shorter, select these points. And move them here. Now go for rectangle tool. Create a rectangle here. Select these layers. And unite them. Bring them down again. Select these points. Move them up like so. Then select this object. Ctrl C, Ctrl F. Change proportions like so. Select this layer. And pick this color. Alright, so now it's time to create a guy. Just pick these layers. And duplicate them like so. Change head proportions to something like this. You can delete this part. Select these points. Move them like so. Make ears bigger. Pick this darker color. Select these two layers. Shift plus M for shape builder. Click on this part to create it. Bring these layers down. Pick these colors here. Alright, now reflect this ear. Reflect tool. Hold Alt. Click on copy. Now pick this color. P for pen tool. And create this shape.
don't create too many points all right align these points select them with direct selection tool go to align click here horizontal align right then change proportions to match with center of this head like this go for reflect tool hold out click on this point click on preview copy all right select these two layers click on unite press p hold out drag it like so and then with direct selection tool move these points like this select this one go to properties select smooth curve like this then select this point click smooth curve also the same here you get the main idea you can play with points as many as you want now pick this color p for pen tool draw a shape like this align these points and connect them then deselect this object select it again reflect tool hold out click on this point and click on copy then select these two points unite them all right so let's select all these layers Ctrl G to group them. The same here. Let's bring this guy down. We can make him bigger a little bit, like so. Let's pick this color and create background, like this. Then duplicate this background. Click here on Swap Fill and Stroke. Go to Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel. Click on Preview. Select Isometric Right. Select three points here, leave plastic shading, click OK, then go to properties, change stroke to five points, then click on this applied effect again, preview, change this value to five points, and now let's rotate it just like in reference. Rotate this side, like this, alright, and now rotate this side. We can make this value bigger, let's say it would be eight points. Click OK for now, increase stroke to 6 points, now round corners, like this, then let's click on this applied effect and select no shading, click OK, go to object, expand appearance. Now I will simply apply colors from this reference. Alright, you could note degrees of this frame, I didn't do this for this case, I will simply take these layers bring them here move this frame layer up and i will simply rotate this photo like so but you can note degrees of this frame and apply them to this photo all right a for direct selection tool select this background and move it just like this so it would fit our frame i have this unfilled part i will fix this now group these layers make them smaller and bring them to our room like so so now there's three objects left in the last one i will show you some new ones of 3d objects so let's create a sofa we'll draw it using pen tool just build lines like so then draw a rectangle here another one now draw a rectangle here and here now it's time for triangles build them like so all right so we've created this object ctrl g to group it place it somewhere here make it bigger we could also create this sofa using our actions to do this we just needed to build a shape like this then go to actions and play right action and continue like we did now it's time to create this cup we'll create it using 3d effects p for pen tool Click here on Swap Fill and Stroke with this color. Just draw a shape like this, then press V, go to Effect, 3D, Revolve. Click on Preview and click Right Edge. Then select Isometric Right and click OK for now. We will play with proportions a bit. You can even add points, move them, change shape of your cup. I think I will stop on something like this. Go to Properties, click on our Applied Effect, Preview, and select No Shading. Click OK. 
Now go to Object, Expand Appearance. I will apply colors from Reference. Now select this object, Shift plus M for Shape Builder. Click on this ellipse, select it, ungroup, ungroup again, and ungroup again. Then hold Alt, move duplicated layer down, pick this color, make this layer a little bit smaller, like so. Select these three layers and bring them up, like so. Let's create a handle for this cup, pick this color, swap fill and stroke, P for pen tool. Let's create shape like this. Now go to Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel, click on Preview, select Isometric left, select 4 points, leave plastic shading for now, click OK. Let's see how it fits here. Let's make it smaller, like this. A for Direct Selection tool, pick this point, move it to the left, and this point to the right, to fit shape of this cup better. Something like this. Let's make it bigger now, like so. We can add some more details to this handle, something like this, if you want to. But I will keep it simple. Go to Properties panel. You can change Stroke Width. You will have something like this. I think I will enter 1 and 5 points. Then click on this applied effect, click on Preview. Select No Shading. Click OK, then go to Object, Expand Appearance. Now I will apply colors from Reference. Alright, and our cup is ready. So let's group it and bring this layer here. Let's quickly create shadow for this one. Ellipse tool, pick this color, play top action, place it here, bring this layer down and make it smaller like so. Alright, to add shadow to this sofa by the way, we can create Rectangle, go to Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel, Preview, All Points, Isometric Top, No Shading, and click OK. Now bring this layer down, move it like so, change proportions, like so, then go to Object, Expand Appearance, then place it here. If you need to make it smaller, pick this point with Direct Selection tool, and move them without shift, like so. Group these layers. And let's create the last one object. This one's gonna be a little bit tricky. Move this reference here. Pick this color. M for rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle like this. Hold out. Duplicate it like so. Change proportions. Place it here. Select these layers. Ctrl G to group them. Effect. 3D. Extrude and Bevel. Click on Preview, select Isometric left, and select 19 points. Click OK. And now to apply this print to this box, you can create ellipses like so. Duplicate them. Alright, select these ones, like so. Select all of them. Ctrl G to group. Go to Symbols. And click here, Create a new symbol. Rename it to Box. Click OK. Then select your box, go to Properties panel, click on this Applied Effect, Preview, select Map Art, select your drawing here, and apply it to your box. This is not very handy, I will just show you this way. Here you choose sites where you want your print to be visible, do the same here. In some cases it works very well, but in some cases not. So I will press clear all. You have seen this idea, you can apply it to your objects. I will press clear all for this now. OK. Select no shading. OK. Object. Expand appearance. I will show you another way to apply print to this object. Let's just apply colors, like so. Then ungroup. Move these layers here. Duplicate them like so. Ungroup this copy, delete this part, select these two layers, pick this color for them, unite them, and in opacity select multiply mode. Change opacity to 50%, then move this layer down, bring it up, like so. Select this shadow layer, this layer, Shift M for shape builder, 
hold Alt and click on these parts to delete them. Alright, so we will group these two layers, move these ellipses here, make them smaller, go to Actions and play this right action. Move them here, make them smaller if you want, place them like this, go for Reflect tool, hold Alt and click on this line. Click on Copy. Now select this object, right click, ungroup, select this part, Ctrl C, Ctrl Shift V, select it and this objects, right click, make clipping mask. The same here, select this part, Ctrl C, Ctrl Shift V, select it and this ellipses, right click, make clipping mask. Now bring these layers down, like so. Now to change color for these ellipses, double click here, select them, object, expand, click OK. After this, pick this darker color for them. This is the best way to create such prints for 3D objects. If you want to match these points, first of all let's expand these ellipses, double click, select them, object, expand, then exit this mode, zoom in to this problem, A for direct selection tool, Pick this point and move it here, like so. Then the same here. Move this point to this. Alright, so after this you have ideal result. Select these layers, Ctrl G to group them. Place this box somewhere here. I didn't rotate it, but you know how to do it. So as you can see, it's very useful to create objects with 3D effects. And at the same time you should always remember about scale shear rotate method. It always depends on situation. Keep in mind that all complex objects are just a combination of simple ones, and usually to create them you need only basic tools – rectangle, ellipse, pen tool and shape builder. If you learned something new from this tutorial, drop a comment below, let me know if everything was clear enough for you and what you liked about this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, support this channel by clicking on subscribe and what's most important by clicking on the bell icon to get notifications about newest tutorials from TNT. I would also appreciate if you'll click thumbs up and will share this video. This was TNT Tutorials, see you in next videos!